G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Thanks for joining me in the studio today. Now, Dragon Scales, it's been a while since I've done them and um, I'm gonna have another go. I've probably forgotten how to do it. <laughs> right, um, I have mixed up some Platinum 360 Plus. Uh, it, I did 225 grams of Part A and 97 grams of part B. I'm just going to finish that off. <laughs> there we go. I'll have to buy myself a new new one of those. Um, Pearl X. Brilliant gold. Love it. Right, so that's going to go, that will be my gold. Um, and then I've got some Peacock Green by LBB Resin. There we go, two scoops, little scoops of that. Um, and then I've got Illuminite White. It's like one drop, I think. I haven't really used the Illuminite much, but when I did use it, I got some really cool effects. So there's one. It's a big drop, big drop. Let's see how that goes. All right, and then I've got some crushed glass as well so basically what I'm going to do is I've just got the three colors the teal the gold and the white and the clear and we're going to see if we can get some cool effects so you want it just opaque I don't like having it too too opaque because it gets really heavy now I'm thinking that the top of what we're doing here is going to be the top of the coaster because I think if you turn it around the other side and see the back, I think the white's going to be quite heavy and fall back. So I think, I think um, it's going to be the top. Oops, 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 spilling my gold, spilling my gold. I've got to get that out. No, come out, gold. Oh, gosh. Mica powder just flies away, doesn't it? Let me get that out. Okay, baby wipes are great to have in the studio. I'm just going to stir it over here <laughs> so we don't get any more fly away just until it's kind of submerged. So again, I want my mica powder to be quite opaque. I don't want to see the stick through it. So when I divided up my cups of resin, I've got the most for the clear a little bit less for the turquoise and then a bit less again for the gold and then the white has got the least amount. Okie dokes. So that's how I've divided them up. I'll just take this over here. Well, that's pretty. Look at that. Pretty, pretty. It's got kind of like a... No, it hasn't. I thought maybe it had like a goldy hue to it, but it doesn't. It's just turquoise. LBB resin. I've got a lot of turquoises, but most of them, like some of them are too blue and some of them are too green. And I wanted it just that sort of shade for, for today. And you've got to mix your mica powder really, really well. Otherwise, you get little bits that float to the surface and it can spoil your design. I'll probably give them another mix in a minute. All right, so the first thing I want to do is... Uh, I'm just going to put a little bit of clear just around the edge just so that there's something on the edge of the mold. This is my geode coaster mold. This one doesn't have the rock edges. I do have another one that's got the rock edges. It's in a, a set of six cavities but this one's just the four with the smooth edges. Uh, I will link it in the description if anybody wants this particular mold. Okay that's that. And I thought this mold would be a good choice because resin likes to follow the shape of the outside of the mold so I thought it would be a cool mold to use because it has got all those little geody shapes. All right, so I think that's I think that's along the edges all the way. I'm gonna make sure that it is. Excuse my dirty stick. 
It's just resin. I like using the same stick. Somebody complained. I said, please change your stick. It looks horrible. Okay. <laughs> I like it. Oh, I said to my husband, is that all she can take out of my 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 video? Is she doesn't like my stick. <laughs> oh gosh. Alright, here we go. Now I think I'll start with the teal. So I'm just gonna do a a puddle in the middle. I'm we'll gonna try and go as evenly into the center as possible. Actually, maybe I'll do, do I wanna do a couple of layers? Mm. Mm. Okay, Let, let's try that, let's do a couple of layers. And then with the gold, I was only gonna do one layer, but I might do a couple. I've got I've got some more there. <laughs> All right, a little bit of white. And then yeah, try and get it into the center. And then we'll go again with the teal. So I've got I think 322 grams, which is roughly about 11 ounces ish. Just going to finish it off now. Make sure everybody's got got some. Oh, look at the sides, you guys! Look, it's doing it already. Try not to drip into those gorgeous effects it's doing. Okay, now more of the gold. Oops, I need another bit of paper towel. Resin's just amazing how it does this. Just make sure you don't drip into the side and spoil your design. Catch your drips. Okay, a little bit more. Just trying to make sure I don't overfill them because I've still got my clear to go at the end. I think that's enough with the, the gold. A little bit of white. Probably should have been finishing with some teal maybe, but <laughs> never mind. <laughs> never mind, I haven't got any teal left. Do I want more white? Oh gosh, look at it already. <gasps> you probably don't even need the white. The resin just makes such gorgeous, gorgeous patterns. All right, now, um, it, right in the center, up high if you can, with some clear. Push all that back and then let it come back again. Do I want to? Oh. How much room have I got? I don't really no, I don't really have enough room to put anything else in. This one's already full. Just looking across the top to see who can have a little bit more. I want them all to be roughly the same thickness. Again, be really careful not to drip into your sides that are looking amazing. Oh, got it. <gasps> All right, I did it without any dripping. Radio. Now, quick little torch. Now, this is where I have to be careful again. <laughs> I was going to put some gold in the centre, but maybe I don't need to because <laughs> it's all... It's all closing up. It is all closing up. Let's just put a little bit in. Again, be really careful not to spill any of it where it shouldn't be going. I'll do this just in case I decide I want to use the other side. 
because I don't think you're going to see the gold on this side. I think it's just going to all be gonskis. I think it's all going to be covered up, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> this one's going already. You can't even see it. Okay, put that back in. Now, very carefully, and I think what I'm going to do is, I think I'm just going to use a little, a little stick just to, because I don't want to break up my design that I've got there. But I do want to just poke that gold down, crushed glass or stones or whatever they are. Oh, girl. <gasps> Just looking so pretty already. Break that up. Okay. Little torch. Can't see the white at the moment. Now, be really careful you don't spray any alcohol on these because they will leave droplet marks and do weird things. So, just be careful. All right, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. Alright, now I'm going to clean up my mess here, wipe my sticks so I can use them again. I'm going to wipe them over here though. Alright guys, um, I'll continue to do this, my little clean up. Don't get your heat gun and torch the, below the sides or anything, there's a hair in that, um, because it will it'll sort of change your design. I don't know if I can get that hair out. left a little line okay the, the rest is still moving hopefully it'll be all right okay <laughs> this, this one doesn't seem to have as much gold but look it's changing already it's looking amazing oh my gosh all right you see how the edges they're pulled in like that so I'm going to come back to you in about half an hour and we'll see how it's looking, okay? Okay. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> I'm, I'm beyond words. It's changing. Every time I turn around and look at it, it's changing. I stopped and made some moulds. So um, when I came back to it, the centre, the centres had all closed over and I thought, I really want to be able to see my little gold pieces that I've put in. So, do you know what I did? And I'm sorry now that I didn't video it, but I was just playing around. Um, I sprayed some of my isopropyl alcohol into a little paper cup. I dipped my little um, stir stick, my little pop stick, into it. Took out a drop on top of the pop stick and carefully dropped the alcohol drop straight into the center. And what it did was, as soon as it hit the resin, it pushed the resin away and left the little center. I couldn't believe it. I thought, oh, should I do it? Should I not do it? Should I do it? Should I not do it? It could ruin it. That's why I thought, oh, I'm not going to video it, just in case I ruined it. So anyway, and then um, ended up putting like two drops on, on each. And um, yeah, that's, that's what it's doing. <laughs> Initially, I didn't have any of the white showing through at all, but the white's come up in the middle and it's done that sort of cloudy dragon scale, kind of looks like teeth in the center, which is what I was expecting it to do. So I don't know if it'll change much from now on because it's been probably 20 minutes or so. So anyway, <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow <laughs> and um, when it's ready to unmold. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy with the tops. I don't really care what the bottoms look like. This is what I was going for, the tops. So anyway, we'll see what the other side looks like as well. Maybe I'll like them and we can use it both sides. I don't know. All right. I'll see you guys later. Okay. So this is what we've got. It's been a few hours. Um, I did this. Gosh, I don't even remember what time it was. But um, it's, it's great being able to unmold something same day. Hey, if I push my nail down onto it, it'll probably still make a dent. So it's not totally, totally cured. But I want to get them out. <laughs> I'm loving them already. All right, let's get them all out. And then um, 
we can have a little look at the other side but yeah like I said earlier this is the side I was going for and I've got some marker pens to show you as well let's put that out of the way look at that look at that all right now do we want to see the backs of these or do we want to see the markers <laughs> let's go the markers um chrome markers I have gold silver and copper they're really bright so if I can remember I'll link them but um, I thought I'd try the gold one today because I've got the gold there righto shall we have a look at the other side shall we shall we okay but yeah I'm not expecting great th things from the other side but we'll have a look anyway <laughs> uh, okay <laughs> I told you I told you I told you <laughs> Oh gosh, all right. Yes, this is the side we're going for. But look, I wanted to have a look at the other side anyway. All right, now, uh, which is my favorite? Oh gosh, they're all lovely. Oh, I'll just do this one, seeing as it's, it's closest. So we've got a beautiful, smooth edge there. And I'm going to paint this. Look how easily that goes on, my gosh. It's gorgeous Just don't get it on the other side um, actually what I would suggest are we focusing I don't even know what we're focusing I would suggest that you go around and do all the sides first um, and then put it upside down well not upside down but you put a little plastic cup upside down like that and then you put them all on there um, so that they can dry and then once they're dry then come back and do the the top edge but you know me I'm impatient so uh, what I'm going to do because I want to see what it looks like I'm going to go around and I'm going to do this top edge first because that's when you can really see and because it's a big thick round edge there's a few different um, shapes of nibs in the in the box there's five five markers in the box which I'm not used to doing that I'm used to doing the top let's see if I can do it that way better um, there's yeah there's five markers in the in the box yeah that's better <laughs> oh gosh put it down um, and they've got there's I think there's three different like nib shapes and sizes now where do I hold it I don't really want to touch the top because it's as I said it's not totally totally cured yet so just follow that around it I don't even think it needs sanding it's got such a gorgeous finish on it but yeah the the round nib isn't quite as easy to use as um, the square nibs because the square nibs you can push the edge of the coaster into the top of the nib and it kind of stops it from sliding off So you just got to go carefully. You don't want the nib, you know, slipping and going. <laughs> Did I give you a fright? Uh, you don't want the nib slipping and going off into the middle. There we go. I think that's about as thick as I want it. I don't like it really thick. I think it looks a bit tacky. All right. Oh, look at it. Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> All right. So let me know what you think. Um, I will go and do the rest. Oh, where's that wet bit? I'll go and do the rest later. Um, I've just noticed, I thought I was having like clear right through, but it's, you can't actually, well, you can, you can see a little bit through it. I thought it was just going to be totally clear, but it's got like this very, very pale white on the background. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can go in for a bit of a close up here and, and look at the details look at that this is what I was telling you about the white the aluminite white I'm not sure whether all white pastes do it but I know that this one <laughs> I it happened on accident I was trying I was trying to get a marble look ended up with like clouds and I thought no I don't, I don't want that I want marble so <laughs> yes I got it on my fingers so I kind of found it by accident. 
but it's it's really cool isn't it all right um, I'm gonna finish them off I'm gonna do all the edges and and I'll set them up for a photo shoot for you and um, yeah hope you've enjoyed my little video it's fun to try new things isn't it sure is all right thank you so much for watching do you like that gold edge there it's pretty isn't it I'm gonna do that to the others as well so cool they do look a little bit more blue through the screen they are actually more teal but they are yeah it's looking a bit blue but they are more teal alrighty better go I can't stop looking at them that is so cool all right thank you so much for watching and um, I'll do more dragon scales reversions of dragon scales <laughs> I'll see you again real soon for the next video okay take care guys love you all Bye for now.